Coming up in today's free van camping adventure, I wake up next to a nuclear power station, we go back in time at a rather unique chocolate factory, and then I end up cooking my biggest van meal yet. But first, we need to check if I've grown an extra finger in the night. That's not a bad way to wake up, is it? Ultra quiet night last night, apart from the gentle hum of a nuclear power reactor. Um, but yeah, no one rolled into the park last night. A couple more uh, cars and vans pulled in this morning. Whether they're going to be camping for the day or for the night or whatnot, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, really nice, peaceful night. I'll just show you out here because you'll see there's quite a few vans here at the moment. We've got uh, a blue... I don't know what that one is, actually. I'm not quite sure what make that van is. We've got a VW over there, and we've got the, uh, I want to say Fiat Ducato. Yes, over there. So yeah, everyone had a nice quiet night last night. The sun's now shining. I can feel the van getting warmed up by the sun. We've got a good hike planned today as well along a beach trail. We're going to be heading down to Hollyhead. We might stop off at a few places along the way. And I think later on, we're going to be looking at the South Stack Lighthouse. But first quarter of the day, let's get a brew on and get some breakfast sorted. He's just applying his factor 85 at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure it doesn't burn like a crisp. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I'm quite conscious that I talk a lot. It's important to self-reflect. Talking more even now, in fact. But... I prefer that sound to my own voice. cooking bacon and eggs, listen to the birds tweet. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Bacon, egg and cheddar cheese. The right way to start your day. And while we make our way to the first location of the day, is a quick mention from today's video sponsor. Tronsmart. Now I've been a big fan of Tronsmart speakers for the last few years now, way before they even decided to sponsor the channel. This is their brand new Tronsmart Bang Max. It's got 130 watt output with two 35 watt woofers with a plethora of other speakers involved. And to add to all that, it gives you up to 24 hours of playtime with its own 18,000 milliamp hour self-contained battery. On the back, when I first got the speaker, I noticed a few inputs and outputs, one of which said guitar and one of which said microphone. Now, apart from this being a Bluetooth, USB and memory card music playing device, it also acts as a portable PA system. Now, I've got someone very special coming to meet me here at Hormond Hill Shrewsbury to test out those guitar and mic inputs. Have you guessed who it is yet? Here's my guinea pig for the day. Me. He's just going to give us a little sample of a chorus of one of his songs to put in the Bang Max and just see if this guitar and microphone input does work as a PA, as I suspect it will.
That's pretty damn good, isn't it? <laughs> so that is the Transmart Bang Max. I'll leave a link in the description below to Transmart and to Amazon if you want to grab yourselves a bargain. For the first 10 days of that speaker launching, launch day is today. You can get a massive discount for the first 10 days. Go check out the link below. Now back to Anglesey. Here we are at the chocolate factory. Melon linen. And there's the windmill. I always think what kind of attitude business owners will have towards a weird blogger. I always get one of two reactions. The first one is, come in, come and see what I've got. Please put it in your video. The second one is, oh my God, put your camera away because you can destroy my business. So uh, we're <laughs> going to see which one this is, but we're going to keep the camera out. Seems like a good spot to stop at along the way. Um, yeah, the Willy Wonka of Anglesey, apparently. Oh, I tell you what, I do fancy a bit of chocolate. Do you? I do, mate. I, all along this trip, right, all the places we've been to along Anglesey, I've been desperate to try and find a local bakery. Okay, some eclairs from Aldi, which we'll have at some point along this trip. That just doesn't cut it for me. If you're going to come to Anglesey or go for a trip somewhere, you want to find somewhere local to have some proper chocolate or cream or pastry, don't you? You do, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Monuts. What's a monut? I think it's a new combination of a donut, I think. But okay. it's got to do with the... So it says, monuts that way, shop that way. Uh, let's go to the shop first, shall we? Okay. After you, sir. I think that's, is that a toilet or is that a shop? That's a toilet, that is, okay. The lavatory. Not monuts, okay. Where are we going? That's another toilet. They're all toilets. Oh, yeah. what was this? Go on, then, after you. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Oh, I can, oh, I can smell chocolate already. Now, what is a Mona? It's an it's, angle it's... seat. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's an Anglesey thing. Yeah, Anglesey well, donuts. Is... Moan, and this moan is Anglesey. Right, So instead okay. of a donut, ah. it's a moan. It's a moan. There you go. Yeah. Well, we've got to get a moan at while we're yeah. out. Well, you've got to. You can't come here and not get a moan <laughs> So you do different moan oh, oh, well, if you go upstairs, you, you're going to love it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Wow, look at this. Please queue this way. There you go. Recommendation, you can do the hazelnut cream one. Not a bad little spot to take a knee and have a bite. Right, show us yours, mate. It's like a game of top trumps, isn't it? <laughs> the difference is I can't can find you, my Can top you open trump. the Chinese puzzle? <laughs> oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll hold that. Let me have a look-see. My taste buds. Ooh. So mine's the salty caramel crunch. What's yours? Chocolate, just standard chocolate. Just standard chocolate. No pressure. The owner's only stood behind us. <laughs> mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. That's fresh today. Mm. That is fresh today, that. You can still taste the residual kind of oil in it mm. as well. After finally getting my sugar fix for the trip, we decided to do a little more exploring. So this is the mill. So if anyone's got any knowledge on uh, what this particular mill would have been used for or what would have been milled back in the day, let me know. Or something. Don't worry, it's hard doing this with a camera in one hand. Well, yeah, uh, uh, oh no, no entries. Oh, well, we're fine now, mate. This is the top. Oh, this is it, is it? Yeah, this is the top. Okay. I'm quite happy about that. 
<laughs> is it reminding you of that monument? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that monument in Hulk's on the folly is the way. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it, back there? It is. Wow. Oh, trap door there. Watch for that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so another little stop on our walk at uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory is a little look at how people on Anglesey used to live. I think it was 3,000 years ago, one of the ladies in the cafe mentioned, and they've reconstructed a kind of demonstration, I guess, from where we're going to be later on, near South Stack Lighthouse. There was like a community of, how many did you say, 30 or 40 of these, apparently? Yeah, I think Yeah, so. I think, and uh, they've reconstructed two here for us to look at. I'm not quite sure what the people would have been called back then. Anglesians? I suppose the, I suppose the term Anglesey wouldn't have even been around 3,000 years ago. Yeah, mud and grass people, I guess. So I'm assuming this is a this is a thatched roof then. It is. This is an old. You see how, how crazy is that, right? If this construction was supposed to be three thousand years ago, people were still thatching roofs. Yes. Well, this, people still thatch roofs today. Yes. It's a um, a very unique um, building structure, isn't mm. it? And she said it was the Celts. Yes. Is that right? Celtic, yeah. The Celtic people. It's definitely been a fire on the go recently because I can smell it. Can you smell it? Mm. Mm. Wow. It's when you look at structures like this and you think, they could really do with a diesel here. <laughs> do you know, in the winter. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> you definitely need five kilowatts for this space. <laughs> Alrighty, we've had the Monut. Don't call it a donut. They will have your head off. We've had the Monut. We've seen inside a mill. We've looked around a 3,000 year old structure or a reconstruction of it at least. Now we're gonna hit a trail along the coast of Holly Head. I'll give you some more information when we get there. But uh, let's get in the vans, let's get in the cars. Let's hit the road again. We are so blessed with the weather today, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, this trip is really treating us. Not even a sight of a cloud, is it? It's, it's blue skies. Gorgeous. We've got a bit of sugar rush on us. Got a bit of energy. Let's go for this hike. Whoa, another height barrier. Hey, hey. Well, this one's going to be a sketchy one. No, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Oh, crikey. Penrose Beach Car Park. Oh. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can show you guys. How you doing, you okay? Hi, okay. Oh. Hello. See that cruise ship in the distance there? That, that's a ferry. That's got to be the ferry port. That's got to be where you take a ferry to Ireland. And this is where we start the Penross Beach Trail. It's a little trail that's on uh, all trails. We found it 4.5k, a loop trail. It just seems like a nice addition to today. This particular car park hasn't got any plain display signs. You say that. <laughs> you say that. Well, I can't see any at the moment, can you? Well, you know, I, I wouldn't. No, nothing here. Everyone's parked up. I think this might be a free car park. What three words down here? You want to come and see the ferry port and go for a nice little trail along Penross Beach. This is the place to park up, I think. So this is Penross Beach. You can see in the distance there, you've got the ferry. That'll be leaving soon to go to Ireland. We will be on that ferry one day, mate. Yep. We'll be going on that. Now I did look at the prices online. Um, as a foot passenger, I think it only costs about 40 quid, mm. 40 or 50 quid. If you want to take a vehicle with you, you're looking at around 200 pounds. 
to take a vehicle. I think about 160 quid for a car, so you'll be all right for your lucky day. <laughs> it's about 220 to take a van. That is crazy money just to go across a straight. And when we when I get a van, mate, that'll be 400 quid. Four, yeah, I mean, it just it's to be honest, it's that it's at that like price level that you think should we just go for the down foot? Yeah and then park at the port or whatever, or park right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great place to park. So the trail today is gonna to take us all along the coastal line here, and then we're gonna come and loop back round, walk down to the road, and back to where we're parked. So it's gonna be a lovely little walk, this. The weather's just perfect. We've got a breeze in the air, haven't we? You're wearing a hoodie, I don't know why. <laughs> the reason being is because one, it's very lightweight, if you feel that. Okay. And two, because I burn like an <laughs> okay, that is true, actually. Yeah. So, you know, Matty sometimes struggles when he goes past a particularly bright light bulb. So today, it's good. <laughs> so let me just put it this way: the reason being why I look like a Jedi is because it's that reason. <laughs> All right, let's start this beach trail. If you've got the app All Trails, uh, this is on there. It's called the Penrose Beach Circular, I think it's called. Um, area of outstanding natural beauty it's within, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to enjoy some of the sights and sounds at Penrose Beach, and then we'll bring you guys along with us on the way. Now Matty is absolutely certain that what he's wearing on his back there is not, and I repeat, not a man bag. Now, we did ask this in a previous video, what you guys thought it was. And uh, as of making this video, that video hasn't come out yet, so I haven't seen your comments yet, but uh, I'd like to know the consensus on this journey. What do people think? Man bag? What do you call it? Satchel? satchel. Now, to me, a satchel... Let's just have a little look at that view while we talk. Now, to me, a satchel is something that a 45-year-old bloke wears, which brown tan, strap across the one shoulder, to take a laptop and some important files into work for his accounting job. Um, what? Bloody hell's a big bee. What Matty has is what I like to call a Saturday night roadman bag. Anyway, look at that ferry. Gorgeous. It's a nice little cove, isn't it? It is. I believe we are. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night and day Spread my wings and fly away I believe I can soar I see me running through that open door I believe I can fly So what did you say it was? I, I think, <laughs> we're not doing the I believe, I think we're owed a rematch. A rematch? Yeah. Oh, skimming? Yeah. All right, you get down there first, and if you don't fall, I'll follow you. <laughs> Scaredy cat, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm happy, I'm happy to go down. Hey, that's a trail for you, mate. That's it, go on, you go first, I'll, I'll be right behind you. Yeah, of course you are. I will be, I promise. I tell you what, there's probably another way around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Go, look at that. And mate, there's a load of scrap stones here. Oh yeah, skimming central this. This is easily somewhere. I could spend a good four or five hours. It's just saying. It's easily somewhere you could spend four or five hours, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely, especially with that much ammunition, you could you would be here for hours. <laughs> and especially looking at the ships rolling in and yeah, you know. watching the ships roll in. I watch them roll away again. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. I don't know it. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Wasting time. Otis read it. I just know the watching the ships oh, rolling. Lord, in. That's all I know. <laughs> Comment below. Is anybody singing that song now after I've got it? <laughs> is there any other songs that uh, reference ships rolling in or ships porting or. Hmm. Hmm. No, I can't think. No? Nothing that comes to mind? 
Not bad. Not bad. That was that was poor. That was because it was. Uh, excuses. Was... Excuses. That was bad. <laughs> now that I can get on board with. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Is that a good one you got in your hand? Would you mind giving me a good one? Thank you very much, sir. Oh, that's a crap one, that is. What one you got in your hand there? Come on. <laughs> Let's not shortchange me. Hold on, That'll hold do. Hold That'll on do. a minute. Hold on a minute. Go. Well, to grab it, you're Yeah, on to that. <laughs> oh, here we go. You ready? Oh. You're watching the master now. All right, you're going to put the finger on the book, okay? Oh, here we go. Oh, if I mess this up, I've still got to go in the edit on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, ready? Okay. Maybe you've got to catch it as well. Yeah, yeah. don't do Whoa! See that one fly? That one pinged right up. That pinged right up, but it had only three splashes. Mate, getting a ping off those waves. I'm happy with that. That was good. Three Go on splashes. then. I tell you what, get a bigger, get a bigger ping than that. Probably not. Who's got a bigger ping? Oh, oh no. It's all right. He's gonna go again. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, you're not talking talk now, are you? After absolutely obliterating Matty at a game of skimming, we then continued our walk before heading back to the vehicles. The van's still got its wheels. We're winning, we're winning. The car park's a little more empty now. But we have just finished a hell of a walk. That was beautiful, that was. Fantastic views. Don't know why I took the sunglasses off, by the way. It just felt natural during the course of that sentence. <laughs> anyway, now we are off to South Stack Lighthouse. The day is drawing on. We're gonna look at some beautiful views at South Stack Lighthouse. And then I think the plan we were gonna stay for an extra night, but looking at a couple of uh, more reviews about this particular campsite we're gonna stay at tonight, I think we might just give it a miss. So I think we're gonna to go to South Stack, see the lighthouse, then try and find a nice little beach area, or a coastal area at least, to cook up some nice dinner. Got some beautiful food in there tonight after dinner. So yeah, let's hit the road, let's get to the lighthouse, and go and see some more beautiful views. Can't see me. You reckon? Yeah. How much is it? Ten pound an hour or something? It's two pound an hour. Yeah. But it only accepts cash, no card. Okay. Have you got any change? Yes. Do you need some? Like, do you need I, some change off me? Yeah. I, I have no. Ch I've got. No Hang on. Can you? Can you do it online? No. I've had a look. Okay. Have a look. If, if not, I'll help you out. No worries. Yeah, I'll park next to you. Just taking a bit of time to reflect on it. Uh, this whole trip, really. We've got the lighthouse to see. And we've got probably one more location to cook up dinner tonight before heading back. It's been one hell of a journey by Anglesey. I'll definitely be coming back here. Who's been to Anglesey? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. Some great locations. The power station, the first night in Beaumaris, I think it's called, with the castle. Fish and chips on the first night. Yeah. If you haven't watched those videos yet, and this is the first video that you're watching, this is the last day, slash night, if you're gonna call it, of uh, the Anglesey trip. So uh, there's two more videos that have been filmed prior to this. But yeah, Anglesey. I think the van has proved its worth. We can do it. I think there's a few more trips to be planned this year to really give it a good old test. We can see the lighthouse. And it's still operational today. I just saw the light glint then. It takes your breath away, doesn't it? Mate, with these stone... Those are all seagulls, my friend. It's like an ensemble then, like a seagull song. It is. Don't want to drone it. I know, no, I'm not going to drone it. No. I'll tell you what, you, you can though. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, I, I'll take it up and then take it back down. Okay, okay. Because let's face it. <laughs> I think this might be one of the locations that I don't drone it. Um, I mean, look at them. Look oh God, no. <laughs> He's eyeing up your drone already, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where was it that that uh, seagull nearly had my uh, drone? Ben, ben Leck Beach. Ben Leck Beach. Yeah, yeah. 
very, very close. I saw it in the camera swooping in. I had to put it in sport mode and chop a few feathers off and get it back quick. <laughs> My God, even though I'm a good few feet away from the edge, it's, uh, it's a little bit unnerving. There's the lighthouse up there in the distance. Now, I'm not quite sure if you can actually walk there or not. I don't think you can. I can't see anybody on the island at the moment. I can see a big flipping seagull. But yeah, I don't think you can actually walk across there. So leave a comment, let me know. Can you walk over to the lighthouse and actually put your hand on it? Or is this the viewing point where you look from? Beautiful views though, looking across the ocean. It's kind of like uh, dreaming about what could be. What is on the edge of that horizon? I know it's there, it's, it's island, but it's uh, unexplored pastures, should we say. One day, one day. Probably on foot though, I'm not paying 200 quid for the ferry. <laughs> After taking in the views for a few more minutes, our bellies were rumbling. It was time to find our dinner spot for the evening. I'll tell you one thing, the Welsh are keen on their speed limits. God, I don't think I've ever driven over more speed humps in my whole life. 20 mile an hour speed limits as well, they're all over the place. Everyone and their dog from the Hall of Anglesey is in this car park. I can see Matty. So this is where we are. Something in Welsh, National Resources Wales. These are all the things you can do here, apparently. We've been to some beautiful spots today, but uh, this one is by far the busiest. I'll be surprised if uh, this one beats where we were, was it this morning or yesterday morning? Yesterday morning, I think it was. Yeah, yesterday morning, when we parked up right on the edge of the coast there, underneath that height barrier. That was gorgeous. Okay. I'm intrigued now. I've seen a thousand cars. I want to see what they're all here for. Lidwidin or Lid, Lidwiden. Oh, I just I give up on these Welsh names now. <laughs> I've just got to stop doing it. Just got to say I'm here in this spot and point on a map. But yeah, this is it. This, uh, I'll tell you what, this brings back memories of Harlock Beach. I'll tell you something though, what's incredible is how many people have come here for what is admittedly a fantastic beach, but I just don't see how there can be thousands upon thousands, or well, maybe maybe that's an exaggeration, but hundreds upon hundreds of cars in that car park for what is essentially a lovely beach, but there's a lot of places like this around the UK. I don't know. See, when I went to Harlock, it was dead. No one there whatsoever, not a soul. Maybe a couple of lads playing football maybe, but uh, yeah. So you see, when you look at this and you think, there's no way all of these people own all of those cars. Beautiful spot though, fantastic beach, but uh, I'm hungry. Let's go get some stir fry, shall we? Matty's got a migraine, bless him. So I think uh, we were gonna have an extra night here in Anglesey, but if he's not feeling it, we've got a man down. We'll probably head back to Shropshire, I think, make sure he's all right. But before we do that, Get a bit of food in his belly first, make him feel a bit better. Right, you get some food in your belly? We can do. Ooh, better cook quick. Oh, bit of sand for a view. Stir fry and sand. Do you want some sand in your stir fry? <laughs> okay, for tonight's dinner, we have chicken fajita stir fry mix, Aldi special. Obviously with some Aldi noodles as well. 
That's gonna be nice, that. I've never tried one of these uh, stir-fry mixes before. I know Dave has tried a couple on a few camps. Nice and convenient to have in the van. Just all self-contained. Everything you need, all right there. And I've also got some sweet and sour sauce somewhere. In fact, does it come with its own sauce? Yeah, with Mexican-style spices, vegetables, and a spiced tomato sauce. That'll do. Now, for the stir-fry, because it's gonna be quite a big portion, I'm only gonna be using a pot and pan tonight. First time I've ever used a saucepan. No, no, tell a lie. No, the first time I used a saucepan was when I cooked tortellini pasta down by the weir in Shrewsbury. A very long time ago in the car. First time using this pot and pan. Now this particular cook kit can be used on both the induction hob that I've got from Bango as well, and also on a gas hob. Not sponsored by the way. Yeah. All of that goodness. Got it. One thing I love about this particular cook set is that you come with this little detachable handle. I'm quite impressed with this Van Gogh cook kit. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. It comes with this detachable handle here that can be used for the three things that it comes with. Two saucepans, one frying pan with multiple lids. I haven't bothered using the lid yet. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good piece of kit that. Nice and compact as well, all folds in together. Not a bad piece of kit to have in the van. Right then, mate. Are you ready for the ultimate stir fry? Did you say you wanted a small portion? Uh, the, the smallest. The smallest, okay. Here you are, mate. How's that? Oh my God. I think this would be a good time to mention and ask actually if you guys have got any recipes you'd like me to cook in the van that are relatively easy to prepare possibly a one pot meal or something that you think could be quite easily achieved in the van let me know in the comments below mm. do you want to say one final word mate do you feel it do you feel up to it r.i.p mate r.i.p mate <laughs> Mate, I hope you feel better soon. Leave some comments below. Let's hope Matty gets better soon. Thanks for joining us on this uh, epic trip. We've got some fantastic memories. We've been to some brilliant locations. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.